Hi, I'm Gav, the Crypto Coach, and throughout this series, I'll be teaching you about how cryptocurrency works and why people choose to use crypto rather than the government currency in their wallets. Today, we're asking the question, what is a blockchain? In this series, we've already covered the way in which different types of cryptocurrency can be used as an alternative to government currencies. But how do currencies work in a world without banks? Well, the answer is blockchain technology. With local currencies, banks hold your assets and they vouch for your financial legitimacy and they handle transactions on your behalf. But if their server requires maintenance or is hacked, you'll have to wait to access your funds. With crypto, you hold assets in your own crypto wallet and transactions are handled by independent validators. Not gladiators, validators and they're recorded on the blockchain. The blockchain never requires any downtime and it doesn't acknowledge public holidays. So let's take a look at what that means and how it works. If you want to buy something, let's say a Tesla using crypto, then you'd need to have the funds available in your crypto wallet. We'll talk more about buying and selling crypto in a later episode. But let's say you've got three Bitcoins in your wallet. Now, that's a lot of money. It's enough to buy you the Tesla of your dreams. Your crypto wallet has the ability to submit the transaction on the blockchain. When you send the crypto to Tesla's designated crypto wallet, that payment will be picked up by validators who will check digital signatures and check that your crypto wallet has enough balance. As a user, you don't need to physically interact with the blockchain or validators. They will update the balance of both your account and Tesla's account to the new amounts. That transaction will be grouped together with other transactions in a block. That block will be permanently recorded in an online ledger as part of the chronological chain of blocks. That ledger is the blockchain. With local currencies, each bank keeps its own ledger, which it controls on its own servers as a record of its own transactions. Blockchain is not controlled by any single entity. It exists across the entire network of validators. You'll hear that word a lot. And every validator has a copy of the ledger. Validators are independent verifiers of transactions who help to maintain the integrity of the blockchain. Fees that you pay on crypto transactions usually go to the validators in exchange for their services. If your transaction for your Tesla is approved, validators will group it with a bunch of other validated transactions, put it into a block and propose it to be added to the blockchain. This is the only part of the process that isn't instantaneous. Once the proposal is made for a block to be added to the blockchain, it needs to be voted on by validators. Each blockchain has its own rules for agreeing which transactions are valid and their own process for voting each block onto the blockchain. But in each case, a block of transactions is checked to make sure it fits with the blockchain's rules. If it does, it's put forward for a global vote of validators. The winner of each global vote is added to the blockchain. This process can take around 10 minutes with Bitcoin and around one minute for Ethereum. The way each cryptocurrency confirms new blocks is different, which is why it takes different amounts of time. Once that process is complete, the transaction will be finished, there will be a permanent record of it on the blockchain, and you'll have access to your brand new Tesla. If you were to try and complete the same transaction with banks in local currencies, particularly over international borders, then it's likely it would be days before the money came through. Once a block is added to the blockchain, it becomes almost impossible to alter or tamper with a record of transactions. There are around 10,000 validators for Bitcoin and well over 200,000 for Ethereum. Because there are so many and they rarely know each other, it makes each blockchain virtually indestructible, totally transparent and almost impossible to manipulate. It's often referred to as a trustless system because you don't need to trust any individual within it. And that's the basic way in which blockchain works. The most important things to remember are that it's a decentralized system, so it isn't controlled by a single bank or entity. And each validator has a copy of the ledger, so it's almost indestructible and never requires any downtime. 
and because the blockchain is so widespread and has so many copies, it's almost impossible to commit fraud on the system. And blockchain transactions happen within minutes, and that's far faster than traditional bank transactions. And that's our guide to blockchain. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to make sure you get the next video as soon as it comes out. And join us for episode four, where we'll be taking a closer look at buying and selling using crypto exchanges. Until next time.